today we are talking about photosynthesis it needs three things from the environment carbon dioxide water and light or photon in the leaves of a plant the green leaves these three things will form carbohydrate as an example glucose and oxygen that we breathe now how it occurs that is photosynthesis light is coming to the leaves now we will zoom into the leaf this want plant cell having nucleus and cell organelles this is the plastid where photosynthesis occurs now zooming into the plastid this is one plastid it has some disc like structures arranged in row this total structure is called grana and the fluid surrounding is stroma and each of the disc is thylakoid now we are zooming into the grana it has three thylakoids in it in this one each thylakoid have thylakoid membrane surrounding the lumen now we will zoom into one thylakoid this is one thylakoid zoomed view and the black border is a thylakoid membrane now there are some special proteins present in the thylakoid membrane the names we will discuss later first we will understand what's happening in photosynthesis among them two proteins PS2 and PS1 have chlorophyll in it. Chlorophyll will receive the photons and will absorb the energy from the photon. Other proteins are carrier proteins, they do not have chlorophyll. the light striking on the photosystems ps2 and ps1 one water molecule will break down to form 2h+ half of o2 and two electrons the electrons will be given to the ps2 and it will get the energy of the photon and will be excited now the excited electron will be transferred via the carrier proteins during this process using the energy of the electron hydrogen ions will be pumped inside the lumen of the thylakoid giving the energy now the electron has less energy in it will reach ps1 and will be excited again and then transferred to a protein named <coughs> nadp plus reductase here the electron will be contributed to a reaction to form nadph from nadp plus now the nadph is produced by this process and hydrogen ion concentration has increased inside the lumen 
Now these hydrogen ions will be pumped out of the lumen by ATP synthase and it will form ATP from ADP and a phosphate. So NADPH and ATP are produced by the thylakoid and given to the stroma the fluid inside the plastid. When two water molecules break down to form electrons, half and half oxygen will make one molecule of oxygen and given to the environment. Now we have used water photon and made oxygen. Now we will use carbon dioxide to make carbohydrate and also use ATP and NADPH produced in the thylakoid. Now this is a plastid. We are inside the plastid. It has grana having three thylakoid in this one which will give ATP and NADPH in the stroma. So we, we are inside the stroma where we have five carbon molecule each of the balls indicating one carbon. Now the five carbon molecule RUPP detailed name we will discuss later. Now it will add one carbon dioxide which is one carbon molecule and 5 plus 1 will make 6 carbon molecule which will immediately break into 2, 3 carbon molecules which are named PGA. Each PGA molecule will make another 3 carbon molecule named G3P and each of the PGA will use one ATP and one NADPH each. Now another IUBP 5 carbon molecule will take another carbon dioxide to form 6 carbon molecule that will break into 2 3 carbon molecules PGA and both of them will form another 3 carbon molecules G3P using ATP and NADPH each. There are total 3 RUBPs present during this reaction. Each of them will combine with one carbon dioxide total three carbon dioxides and will form G3Ps at the end. Now we have got one, two, three, four, five and six G3Ps. And the number of ATPs are also 6. And NADPH is also 6. Now one G3P will be kept and the other 5 G3Ps will be used to form RUBP that is 5 carbon molecules. Now 5 G3Ps arranged in a row. Are forming five carbon molecules, rarbulose five phosphate or R five P. Three molecules of it. Now each R five P will form one RUPP using one ATP. Three molecules of them will form 
three RUPPs. This cycle is also called Kelvin cycle. Now the G3P kept will bind with another G3P given by another such reaction and these two three carbon molecules will join to form six carbon molecules which is carbohydrate such as glucose. Now we have used carbon dioxide and formed carbohydrate. So photosynthesis is complete. Now we will do a recap. Photosynthesis divided into two reaction. The light reaction which occurs in the thylakoid membrane and it needs light or photon, water and photosystem which will form ATP. NADPH and oxygen. Another reaction is dark reaction. It also occurs in the daylight but it does not need light and it occurs in the stroma. It takes carbon dioxide, ATP and NADPH. Here we have three IUPPs. which will combine with one carbon dioxide each and here an important enzyme is present that is Rubisco in each IUPP combining with each carbon dioxide will form two PGAs each. Now each PGA will form G3P using 1 ATP each PGA and 1 NADPH each of them. Now 1 G3P is kept to form or contribute to half of the glucose formation and the other 5 G3Ps will contribute in regeneration of IUBPs by using 1 ATP each IUBP. So the number of ATP is 6 here and 789 total 9 ATPs and 6 NADPH has been used to form half of the glucose so to make two to make a whole glucose we will need 18 atp and 12 nadph that is two cycles of kelvin cycle so we are back to the thylakoid lumen and the thylakoid membrane again to know the name of the proteins this is the thylakoid membrane the first transmembrane protein PS2 or photosystem 2 next pheophytin plastoquinone cytochrome B6 plastocyanin and PS1 or photosystem 1 then ferredoxin and NADPH reductase and one more protein that is the ATP synthase this is the ATP synthase Now starting with the photosystem 2, it has chlorophyll in it and photosystem 2 absorbs 700, no sorry, 
680 nanometer wavelength of light and water molecule will break to form the electron and will be given to photosystem 2 and excited by the energy of photon and will be given to pheophytin then to plastoquinone then transferred to cytochrome B6 then plastocyanin then it will be given to photosystem 1 for excitation as it has lost its energy and PS1 will absorb 700 nanometer wavelength of light and it will excite the electron again and will be given to the ferredoxin. The ferredoxin will transfer the electron to the NADP plus reductase where the electrons will be contributed in this reaction to form NADPH from NADP plus. So NADPH is produced. Now these proteins will bring in the H plus ions which will increase the H plus concentration in the lumen and these H plus ions will be pumped out of the lumen of thylakoid to the stroma by ATP synthase forming ATP from ADP. This process is called chemiosmosis process. The electron will not come back to photosystem 2 so it is called non-cyclic photophosphorylation and it looks like a Z or Z so it's called Z scheme. Now if the plant has to produce ATP only not NADPH then it will switch to cyclic photophosphorylation where only PS1 is included. Photosystem 1 will give the electron to ferredoxin, then plastoquinone, then cytochrome B6 and then to the plastocyanin. From here electron will come back to the PS1. So it is called cyclic process or cyclic photophosphorylation. In this case, these proteins are involved. Here, NADPH plus reductase is not involved, but only hydrogen ions will involve and form ATP. In the thylakoid lumen, ATP and NADPH are produced and given to the stroma. Now, inside the stroma, we had some 5 carbon molecules that is RUPP. Now we will know the names in detail. This is the 5 carbon molecule having 2 phosphate groups and the name is ribulose bisphosphate RUPP. It will bring in carbon dioxide. 3 IOBP, 3 carbon dioxide forming 3 phosphoglyceric acid or PGA. It will add one more phosphate by using ATP. This is 1,3-bisphosphoglyceric acid. Now it will use NADPH and release the extra phosphate again forming the compound glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate or G3P. 
out of six G3Ps, one G3P will combine with another G3P formed by another cycle and will form six carbon compound glucose. Now the rest of the G3Ps will contribute in regeneration of IUPP taking other steps also and 3 ATPs for 3 IUPP formation. Now the Kelvin cycle is complete and photosynthesis is also complete.